with pre-roll adverts up to 30% of viewers new to your stream that arrive on your stream will bounce away immediately when they see the advert. Twitch adverts, love them or hate them, they're going to be here to stay. And as Twitch, the platform gets bigger and bigger, it's already got around about 200 million users. That compares to about 2 billion users on YouTube. There's still at least a tenfold growth in Twitch yet, if we're lucky. Adverts, nobody likes them. But the thing about adverts is they do allow platforms to be free. They encourage content creators to come to a platform and make good content for you. Sometimes bad content as well. It means that they're able to get paid for that content through adverts along with a load of other things like sponsorships and so on and so forth the thing is live streaming is a new form of media it's only really been around for the last 10 years and it's only started to mature as a technology in the last four or five years we're going to see more and more live streaming platforms come around and therefore the way that we're served up adverts will evolve and twitch are at the forefront of how that evolving process is going to take place now the thing about twitch they at least put the control Role of when the adverts are being run in the hands of the creator. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about how you can manage your adverts much better for your viewers and hopefully actually improve your growth on Twitch as a result. And that sounds like a really weird thing to say that managing adverts better could result in extra growth, but I'll show you in this video why that is the case. My approach in this video is not going to be to just tell you what to do, okay? My approach in this video, as always, is to show you something and if you like, like it you can implement it yourself on your stream and i'll give you some advice if you don't like it that's also fine i'm not always right with these things but from my experience of this getting into the pattern of managing adverts on twitch has been a relatively straightforward process so you may not realize it, but there's actually a lot of different ways that brands can advertise on Twitch. And I'll just give you a little flavor of this. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. This video is mainly going to be about the video advertising and you running pre-rolls because they're the ones that you can control. But there's other adverts that you don't control fully in the hands of Twitch. There's cross-screen videos. There's desktop videos, homepage carousel adverts, as you can see here. Obviously, there's mobile video adverts. There's ad placements in the viewing platforms here, although I don't think that is now the case. I don't think they have these anymore, but I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. There's also sure stream adverts, which are kind of the most effective way to advertise. They integrate into the broadcast rather than playing as a layer. And then there's multiplayer adverts as well, but they're currently in beta according to this article. I will link this article below so you can have a further read if you want to. You may not know this as well, but in your channel analytics page, you can actually look at the ad breaks that you've had within your streams and also the ad time per hour. And it's this ad time per hour that we're going to be discussing a lot more in detail in this video. You can select the date here to extend the date range and see how your ad time per hour has been affected over time and also just how many ad breaks that you've run. So let's just talk a second about adverts in general. Obviously on YouTube, it's a fixed piece of content. You can pause it, skip it, rewind, all that stuff. Traditional media like that is a little bit more flexible from an advertising point of view because you can place an advert anywhere in that and nobody's going to miss content. Live streaming is totally different. You can miss content. No view wants to see an advert right at the moment that you as a broadcaster or their favorite broadcaster is about to beat a boss or have some incredible live streaming content. So it's in your interest to control how you manage the adverts as much as it is in Twitch's interest to give you that control. And guess what? The viewers also will appreciate you for taking more control over your adverts. So in more traditional media like television, even if that's like on-demand television, you're still able to pause and rewind and basically not miss any of the content. But there are strict rules per country about how many minutes of adverts can be run per minute of content. Otherwise, some countries would be in a situation where you've got more adverts than you have content, and obviously that's not very good. So it's a lot, it's a little bit about adhering to advertising standards, but at the same time, adhering to content standards, even in the broadcasting world of TV and not Twitch here. There's an article here on Wikipedia that cites in Europe, for example, instead of every three minutes 
for every eight minutes, which is the rule in Europe. There can be six minutes every half an hour. And they're the kind of ratios that you're looking at for TV in a traditional format. So you can imagine if there were six minutes of adverts every 30 minutes of content on Twitch, people would be going crazy. That's only 24 minutes of content every half an hour. So believe it or not, Twitch is actually not serving up that many adverts because the ratio on Twitch is more like one minute for every 20 minutes. So it's three minutes in every hour. It's literally one quarter of the amount that you would expect to see on a TV. And it's a necessary evil and it does mean that platforms can be kept free. Viewers and streamers need to get used to this in live streaming formats. It's not going to go away. So if you go into your creator dashboard here and go into settings and affiliate, they sometimes change these menus around. So I'm sorry if it's not where I'm saying it is by the time you watch this video. There's a few things you can do to improve the viewing experience for your viewers. And it's this is really the crux of this video. First of all, I would recommend turning on ad-free viewing for your subscribers your subscribers are paying money to subscribe to your content and watch it and get some of the other benefits you should be giving them the absolute maximum benefit for that subscription yeah if someone's paying a monthly fee to view your content the least you could do is just not serve up adverts to them right so make sure that the ad free viewing toggle is turned on here if you scroll down the page a little bit more we've got the advertising section here you can look at your advertising revenue share pre-roll notifications and pre-roll ads we're going to be talking a little bit more in detail about these with pre-roll adverts up to 30 30% of viewers new to your stream that arrive on your stream will bounce away immediately when they see the advert. That's just how it works. 30% of people simply not continue watching purely because they've seen an advert and they're too impatient to wait for your content. And that's a really big deal because that's 30% of new viewers, new eyeballs that potentially could become long-term viewers on your stream. They may subscribe, they may gift, they may do all of those nice things, but they may just be really good interactive cool viewers that you you're missing out on just because pre-rolls are not managed very well on your channel. I will prove in this video how the bigger streamers are not managing adverts very well here, but it's managed even worse by people that are much smaller streamers because they don't care about the advertising revenue. The thing is, don't pay attention to advertising because of the revenue that you'll get from it. The revenue you will get more than likely, if you're a small to medium sized streamer, is a negligible amount of money. Forget the advertising revenue. The thing that's important is treating your viewers with respect and making sure that your content is segmented properly, making sure that the adverts are served up when you want them to be served up. So getting back into here, the pre-roll adverts, you can choose to keep pre-roll adverts on your channel, which means no matter who comes to your channel, pre-roll adverts will run on your channel. So even if you've run some adverts, it won't remove those pre-rolls. Every single new viewer, in fact, every viewer that's not a subscriber, if you don't have this thing toggled on, will get pre-roll adverts. That's really, really irritating for somebody, particularly if they are like like a regular viewer of yours, but obviously any newer viewers, you're risking losing some of those viewers. Obviously you're risking not converting up to 30% of viewers just by them potentially bouncing away. And discoverability is hard enough on Twitch without you kind of tying one of your arms behind your back. So on my channel, and you don't have to do this, but on my channel, I've chosen to disable pre-roll ads when I run ads. So that means I can choose when I want to run the ads. And as long as I'm running enough of them, bearing in mind it's three minutes of adverts every 60 minutes on Twitch, I choose when to run those three minutes of adverts. And guess what? There are no pre-rolls on my stream. We also need to make sure that if you're doing this, you turn on the pre-roll notifications. And I'll explain a little bit more about why that's important later in the video. I just want to step away from adverts for just a moment and just talk about the hardware setup on your stream. Now, I realize here that people have different budgets and different constraints in terms of the PC that you run and things like that. But one of the best investments you can make and one of the easiest investments to make is to get another screen that you can run things from. There's a lot of reasons why you might want that extra second or even third screen. For example, most people would use it for running chat, reading chat in a live format. But one of the most important reasons to have a second screen is so that you can manage your adverts better. Even if this monitor that you get is £10, £5, secondhand, like given to you by your granny, just get yourself at least a second monitor that you can have stream manager always in play, just off screen and easily accessible. It really is vitally important from an advert point of view. So we've established that you need to run 
three minutes of adverts every 60 minutes. How do we actually manage this and what does this look like on Twitch? Well, if you've got this, enable dashboard notifications and be alerted when pre-roll ads are being enabled or disabled. What this does is it means that you as the streamer will be notified when pre-rolls have run out and you therefore need to run another advert in your own convenience in between bits of content to enable the pre-rolls to disappear off your channel again. And the moment that that happens, once again, people will be able to come to your stream without seeing pre-rolls. I had to actually go live for like one minute to record this clip of me showing you the adverts. But I thought it was worthwhile because having visibility of this on a second monitor and knowing when your adverts are running out is really, really important for making sure that you're preventing pre-rolls on your channel and therefore giving new viewers the absolute best possible experience that you can. You're giving yourself a chance to convert 30 cent more people just by doing that. And that is absolutely going to result in better, more consistent growth on your channel. You still need to make good content, okay? You can't just do this and then that's the magic bullet. You need to make good content. You need to be good at what you do. You need to always be improving, but at least you're getting up to 30% more viewers visit your stream successfully because they're not being gatekept by those pre-roll adverts. So I said earlier in the video that I would show you how the big streamers and certainly the small streamers are not managing this very well. The easiest way to see that people are not managing this is whether you will get a pre-roll advert when you join somebody else's stream. And this is really an important part of this video as it just demonstrates how easy it is to mess this up if you're not keeping on top of it. And one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this specifically now is that if you're not doing this right, you don't need to feel bad because some of the biggest and best streamers on the platform are not doing this very well as well, but of course you can change this. I'm gonna one by one click these top row of Fortnite streamers. It's the six largest Fortnite streamers, okay? I'm gonna one by one click on these just to see which pre-rolls I actually get. The experiment begins. No pre-rolls in one. That's one in two pre-rolls. This guy's got two and a half thousand viewers. That's two out of three people of the biggest streamers in the Fortnite category are not running pre-rolls off. Okay, that's two in two. That's another pre-roll. So that's three pre-rolls out of five. Okay, so it's about half and half. So half of the biggest current streamers that are streaming right now are not managing pre-rolls very well at all. If you do want to know a little bit more about ads and pre-rolls, there is like a help page here, uh, which you can read up on. There's nothing particularly insightful on this page that I've seen, but they do say here, and most importantly, all partners and affiliates can disable their pre-rolls by running ad breaks. So anyone that's moaning about having pre-roll adverts is basically just being lazy or ignorant or just not understanding how adverts work on Twitch. You've watched this video and you now know a lot more about how adverts work on Twitch and therefore you've got an edge over probably 90 or 95% of the rest of the people on Twitch purely from the point of view of getting more viewers onto your channel because you're not buffering them out with the damn pre-rolls. So one final point in actually managing the adverts, you obviously want to be choosing times and points within your stream to run the adverts where you're not going to be creating much content. Of course, all the subscribers are still going to see the content if you've got the toggle checked on for ad-free viewing for those, but everyone else will obviously not see the content. They'll see adverts when you choose to run the adverts. So if you need a toilet break, go to the toilet, run an advert, tell your viewers that you're going to run an advert, go to the toilet and that you'll be back in one minute. They then know that they're not missing any good content. I mean, on my stream, there is never any good content, but that's another story altogether. But I have noticed whenever I've done this, that when I've told my viewers that I'm running an advert and I'm going to the toilet and I come back a, a minute or two later, the viewership doesn't drop because I've taken the time and courtesy to tell my viewers that they're going to be running an advert. This does two things. First of all, it means that they don't miss out on any content and they know that they don't miss out on any content and it's a courteous thing. But what it also does is it desensitizes your viewers a little bit and the wider viewers on Twitch to adverts and they have to get desensitized the way people are desensitized to it on YouTube because Twitch isn't going away and neither are adverts okay we need to get used to this we just need to manage it a lot better it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward turn off the pre-rolls manage when you run the adverts and make sure that you've always got an amount of time in that top right hand corner as that clock is counting down and the moment you get a notification that pre-rolls are off just go to the toilet or take another break or do something that's not as entertaining on stream so that people aren't missing out. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, hit the like, feel free to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day. This, this thing, the nuke! The nuke! Yes! And another! <laughs> oh.
Oh man, I've never had so much fun in my life. 